In my previous video, I showed you how for loop works in Python. Today, I'll show you how you can use that knowledge to create custom iterators and custom iterables. To create custom object types in Python, you need to create classes that will create them. So, to create a custom iterable, I need to create class that will create those iterables. For example, I'll create a class and call it name list. This class will have an initializer in it that will initialize the values of names that will be given a string. So I will name them name strings and it will have only one instance attribute which will be called the same. Name string will be equal to names string. Now iterable type has to have an iter special method. So I will create it def iter and this iter special method should return an iterator. Return my iterator will be named name iterator. I will create it later. And the only parameter that I will pass will be self dot names string. It's red because I didn't create the class for my iterator. I will now. It will be named class name iterator. And it will have initializer that will get this names string parameter. But I want my iterator string to convert it into a list. So it will have self.names. It will be a list. My names will be separated with comma. So I will use split function to separate them. Names string dot split and split it by comma then also i need an index to remember where my iteration ended self dot index it should start at the zero position every iterator object has to have iter special method as well but this iter special method should return itself so return self. Every iterator should have this, the exact same code like this. These two lines are mandatory. Then I will create next special method that will move this index and traverse my list of names. First, I need to check if self.index is smaller than len of names self.names if it's smaller that means i haven't reached the end of my list and i can still move forward so i will store the current value the current name in my name variable names self dot names and the index should be self dot index then i want to return this name but first i need to move the index one forward and then i want to return this name and when should this stop it should stop when i reach the end and i should raise stop iteration this way, Python will know if I rose stop iteration, it should stop iterating through my list. I've reached, I have reached the last element. Now everything is ready. I will create my object names to be my custom list, name list. And you will see how I will pass the values. I'll pass them, for example, name mark. And, and I don't know, John, as you can see, I pass them with space separation. I mean, with comma separation. Also, I forgot, I have a space here as well, so I need to strip it. This way, I won't have 
any extra spaces at the beginning or at the end of my list. Let's put some spaces here to show you how this would work. And now I can use for loop to iterate through this iterable because it has iter special method and the iterator is created correctly. So I can use for i in names completely the same as I would iterate through any iterable like list, set, dictionary, whatever. And I want to print every value. You will see that this will work. As you can see, Mark, Anne and John are printed. I don't have extra spaces and I don't have any commas. Even though I passed to my names custom list as Mark, N, John. If you didn't really understand how this works, you should go to my previous video. There I explained how for loop actually works in memory and why it stops when it sees stop iteration. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video.